Hello and welcome to your team break. In today's video is the continuation of a video from two weeks ago. So I tried to make a space station using spatial variants, and that went okay, though uh, two of the uh, five launches were a pushback, and so here's the video with those two launches. Starting off, here we have a liquid booster variant, or a solid booster is having replaced with liquid alternatives. These are a cryogenic uh, variant, and are powered by uh, or RS-25 derived engines each, making this extremely non-economically non viable, even more so than a normal space shuttle. Now very soon we're going to have a booster detach, as you can see there. And from here on out, it's a fairly standard ascent. Now I first want to acknowledge, for once, the holidays upcoming up. Well, this, the upcoming holidays is a normal way to say that. But yeah, I want to wish you, uh, just all of yours, uh, happy holidays, uh, whatever you celebrate. And uh, yeah, there will be a, a special uh, post on the uh, 25th. Uh, what that post will entail? Not sure right now. Though this might uh, tie into some other plans I have, which I guess I can talk about while nothing's really happening. Just orbital insertion. Or basically, I'm thinking about uh, doing some realism overhaul uh, soon. Since I've been playing KSP for a while now, but, uh, why don't I uh, try a more challenging uh, experience? And also, maybe I can find a career mode that will be actually interesting. Uh, comment if you want to see that. Yeah, I, I might uh, try and get that set up pretty soon. Anyways, here we have uh, the external tank attack and opening up the cargo bay. You can see we have a habitation module there. This is just using uh, stock like state space station parts, uh, redux uh, parts. And yeah, we can uh, slowly do. Uh, and we can uh, slowly approach uh, the uh, target station. And uh, yeah, I'm cutting out most of the maneuvers since does anyone really want to see that? I spent uh, a fairly decent amount of time uh, getting uh, our rendezvous set up. More on rendezvous, I actually made a tutorial about that, which uh, I believe is still one of my most viewed videos. Anyways, on actually approaching the space station, I've yeah, I've never like I tried to use the robotic arm to actually deploy payload once, and decided never to do that again. And we're just going to use a tug to a maneuver the payload now. So as we approach, as you can see, quick quick save there. Now, uh, after our verifying that our module is actually uh, operatable, we'll uh, detach it uh, from the space shuttle, making way too many quick saves, and uh, use the RCS to uh, slowly guide it over towards the space station. I forgot what mod it is. I mean, it's just inline RCS that adds those RCS ports I'm using. I highly recommend the mod makes up uh, this using RCS uh, far simpler. Yeah, we can also use some um, docking port alignment indicator to uh, get a, a nice uh, a nice approach there. However, right as we're on our final approach, uh, we lose a comnet connection. And so, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. I guess I'd try some physical time warp, and for some reason, that adjusts the module slightly enough to the point where it starts rotating, and as you can see, it docks completely without any user input. So, yeah, I missed something a bit interesting there. That's the state of the space station. At least we can now uh, deorbit our shuttle and try to land it back at the KSC. And now, I've, uh, lo I looked back over the, uh, this, the manual for this uh, mod. This is uh, the orbiter from uh, Sock. And basically, I tried to act, I really tried to get our reentry structure to uh, take us towards our intended landing site. Which, uh, you'll see how close I got. And uh, here's the thing. Uh, for some reason, like before and after like reentry burn, like I used a maneuver as you saw, and the trajectories actually predicted my trajectory after that maneuver. But for some reason, that changed compared to when I actually did 
we're going to... You know, we're, we're into a steeper, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, we're on a steeper uh, attitude right now to compensate uh, for uh, you know, we were going to overshoot. Which, uh, and actually compensating for that uh, worked out pretty well. As you can see, uh, we're still a bit uh, high right now. But we're actually again... <coughs> Excuse me. We're actually again pretty low in the atmosphere. And we can even do uh, um, maneuvers to uh, bring us back towards the runway. You know, I'm saying the runway. I'm, I'm not going to specify which. Uh, and I'm not going to specify which we we're... Which, I'm not going to uh, specify the runway I plan to land at. Because, uh, yeah, I... Okay, I'm going to admit. This was... Uh, the, I, could, I definitely could not make it back... Uh, the intended uh, runway, the actual uh, shuttle landing facility. However, there is another runway that was close to us, and uh, yeah, I was actually able to land at that. As you can see, I'm uh, making our final approach, going back to uh, and just, just the real time. And yeah, I'm uh, trying to bleed off some speed here since uh, this runway is significantly shorter than uh, the one we're supposed to be landing at. But as you can see, we're actually almost lined up now. <laughs> yeah, well, we are uh, we are skewed off to the side a bit. Yeah, not best aligned, but uh, we do actually uh, touch down safely, and for once on an actual runway. Now, if you think this is a sign that my shuttle landings are, shuttle landings are improving, it's not. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, catastrophic. Uh, you'll see that later. Yeah, actually landing on runway for once. Now, this is quite possibly one of my favorite shuttle proposals. It's the Saturn shuttle and alternatively SRBs. Instead, you use a Saturn V for stage. However, uh, my recreation of the F1 engines uh, failed on liftoff. However, we actually are able to recover from that. And despite the damage in the launch tower, we are actually able to uh, continue on with our flight. And now, this is definitely not an optimal uh, profile. I am mainly just pointing straight up due to concerns of our low thrust weight ratio. And also, imbalanced thrust. Actually, the only reason we actually were able to take off was because I used the upgraded variant of the F1. It's a modernized variant provided by a Blue Dome Design Bureau. If we use the historical one, I believe we might not even have the thrust weight ratio to lift off. Anyways. We've now just in the first stage, lit, uh, air lit the RS-25s, and again, we're back to a fairly reasonable, uh, normal uh, shuttle uh, this launch trajectory. And so, now it's just a orbital insertion. I already talked about the interesting stuff. So I guess I should uh, talk about you. Uh, oh. Okay, so I have indeed heard about a Kitten Space Agency, which, if you haven't heard, it's a independently developed success to the Kerbal Space Program. But I actually, like, from what we've seen so far, even though it's not, it's definitely nowhere near a playable state, it's looking pretty promising, and if it ever is actually released, I definitely will play that. Anyways, I'm continuing to use the RS-25s to conserve Delta V. But eventually, after doing some uh, quick uh, course corrections, we do the tactics all tank and uh, open up the payload bay, revealing the, uh, uh, the directly copied from the ISS uh, node. All I did was just take, I believe it's the U Unity module, and uh, change the paint to white to match with the rest of the station. Anyways, we can yet again do our standard maneuvers. <coughs> And a rendezvous with the station. And of course, a lag spike as it enters a physics range. 
Yeah, no, this is what I have to deal with when I'm playing KSP. I really tried to show more of your process during this video, since there's less actual missions. And again, quick save. I make way too many quick saves. And since we're running a bit low on Delta V, I decided to do the Stelia like last the Stelia last bits of the rendezvous using the RCS on the payload uh, tug. So we can uh, slowly approach the intended docking port after moving some debris that was left there. Now we can dock. And then we can uh, deorbit the shuttle. And I tried to do the same uh, the same landing profile I did uh, for the previous uh, shuttle. However, uh, we suffer a loss of attitude control due to this improper electric charge, which leads to us not having the proper attitude, which means we don't lead off enough speed, which means we land in the Atlantic Ocean. I guess more accurately, water. Hey, that's an unfunny joke, I realize. But uh, yeah, just going for a soft splashdown. Honestly, not sure why the electric charge on this is weird. It has a fuel cell on it, but that only works like half the time for some reason. We can uh, slowly make our way down. Yeah. And it's not going to be the most gentle uh, splashdown, I'll have to admit. Just a twin. And, yeah, not great. Now we need to check the F3 menu, and nothing actually broke. So, yeah, I mean, at least it's on one tack to any landing you can swim away from, right? But, yeah, yeah, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye!